In life we cannot see the end from the beginning. We must make choices and commit, not knowing what will happen, not knowing the consequences. These decisions shape the present and the future. My emotional state determines the way I perceive the world. Whether the decisions I make in life are a game or an entrapping labyrinth. Sometimes confusion and disjointed thinking takes a toll when I have so many options, so many voices, and so little absolutes to rest within. Arguments within myself and in my home become joy robbers, and I find myself making all kinds of new decisions rashly. But after the emotional turmoil subsides, hope. Hope like little bubbles spring up again. When making decisions in life, I want so badly to cheat and look into what the future holds if I were to go down a certain path. As we all know, there is no access to such information. It remains classified. There are two staircases going in different directions. Trying to balance on them both can be uneasy. These are the voices I hear each and every day. How they connect and spur new things, new ideas. This exemplifies how my surroundings shape my decisions and therefore my future. When ideas, hopes, and dreams are fresh, they are crystal clear and full of potential. The more time that transpires between the thought and the action, the greater the level of fracture and loss of potential from the original thought. These bubbles are the hopes and dreams of my life. They are varied and often build upon one another. The bubble factory is within me. These bubbles are fragile. Out of all the many people, ideologies, and politics that may stand in my way, no obstacle is as great to my future as my own inhibitions that war against progress. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I can fall into the depths of a drawing. I got scared at the thought of this and drew in stairs to climb out just in case I needed them. So as I see, I have a number of options. But what is it that I am meant to do? What path will I choose to take? What is calling me? In life, do not turn to the right or to the left, for the treasure is at the end. Freedom from people. There is no greater self-deprecating people-pleaser than the circus performer the clown. When will his consistent, thankless self-mutilation ever motivate him enough to be free? I want to see him flip the crowd the bird, undress, and walk out leaving his red nose in the dirt, and finally a real smile to replace the one painted on. Decisions. Decisions.